I remember vividly how we met. She was hanging signs at our school for an election that she was about to enter, and she needed help with the sign. And so I stopped and got up on the ladder, and I hung it up for her because she was really cute. And uh, I wanted to spend as much time with her as I could. And I think she'll say she doesn't remember that moment at all. I don't remember that moment at all. <laughs> It's about six months later, she realized I was alive and we started to talk and things, but uh, I, r I recognized her early on. I think it might be true. I really don't remember meeting him on the ladder. I remember meeting him in sophomore English class when we were all assigned to do a very serious Romeo and Juliet project. I did uh, mine with a friend of mine. Uh, Scott did his with two friends of his, and they they went up on top of a roof and did the Romeo and Juliet scene, and they looked like idiots, and that's how I remembered him. And it was not a pleasant memory. It, no, it, it just looked stupid. <laughs> he and got an A, and we, I got we, a B, and I worked got, so we hard. We got an A, and that's right, and she was somewhat upset at that. Oh, but man. I proved to her that humor works from time to time. We were married on uh, January 28th, uh, 1972, and we were both 19 years old. And we just celebrated our 50th anniversary. Uh, we had been looking for a home in this area uh, for Scott's work primarily, just wasn't finding what we wanted. And my dad uh, called one day and he said, well, why don't you talk to your cousins? They're builders in the area. They just decided to retire, but because I was their cousin, they would build one more home for us. I mean, they just did everything over and above, so it would be perfect for us. Uh, the thing that drew Sue to the house was a beautiful meandering road that uh, leads to both our house and my neighbor's house. Um, every time we looked at homes, she came back to this spot because she loved it so much and the way the trees and the roads and everything through the property um, bring, it, bring you into nature immediately. I think that's true. I was, once I saw the trees and the property around here, all on Battle Creek Road, I was hooked. And it was just a matter of where can we find a place. One of the most charming things, and my favorite thing about the house, is it's a, it's a remarkable atmosphere around here, a total immersion in nature. Um, if you walked out on the front porch that you can see behind us right now, you'd hear nothing but bird chirping and forest sounds. Um, but you'd have to stop and realize that you're only two minutes away from the I-5 freeway and you can't hear a whisper of any noise from any of the roads around us. Uh, features about the house that make uh, living here easier. Um, that's a very important question because living on an acreage uh, can be difficult, but we've tried to make it as simple as possible. And so rather than put in a fireplace on our beautiful hearth there, we have a, uh, a wood stove. A wood stove is a great idea except for it's very difficult to bring the wood into the house without causing a big mess and a lot of consternation. So our builders, after uh, we talked about it, they built the uh, the hearth so that it has two wood boxes with open doors out in the garage. It, uh, it makes for a very comfortable, cozy environment and Sue's actually warm during the winter instead of huddled in a blanket or two. Bingo. We have had parties, gatherings, all the holidays in this location, no matter what the season. Uh, for our full family. We had 75 people here for a sit-down dinner um, on the patio, as well as a dance area on the side, a cooking area in the driveway. Mm -hmm. It was fabulous. Um, so just what it has done for our whole family to get together for those unique times and those special times in everyone's life, I think that's one of my favorite. We put a lot of thought into keeping the maintenance of the property as easy as possible. Because it's very easy to get in a situation where you're, you're spending time working on a place of this size and not being able to enjoy it. Also, and this is key, um, we decided not to put in a lawn. 
Uh, one of the reasons for that is because of the tall trees, a lawn really doesn't do as well as you might think. We don't get uh, direct sunlight. Uh, that helps us in the summer because it's about 10 degrees cooler here. From a maintenance perspective, not having a lawn allows us to travel and decide when we're going to work on the property. We don't have to mow the lawn every five or six days. The alcove, um, a unique design for sure. I drew it into my plans originally because I always wanted to have a special place for an amazing Christmas tree every year. Didn't last very long. Our, our daughters were both amazing pianists and uh, we graduated from an old church piano to a uh, grand piano rather quickly. And at one time, we actually even had two dueling pianos in here, grands. Um, but one a five by seven fits in that alcove beautifully. Uh, our friends and neighbors and relatives have described our home as is a wonderful, cozy environment to visit and to enjoy. Um, the combination of the wood stove, the wood tones in the house, the forest all around you and the, uh, the sounds of nature right at your front door and the way Sue has decorated the home has, has made it uh, just that, a warm oasis for people to come and visit and uh, guests really enjoy coming here and they tend to stay longer than they think, than they plan to. Wonderfully happy in this home. Uh, we're the only owners. Um, you can tell that she designed it uh, lovingly and I've tried to care for it the same way. And uh, we just hope that whoever buys the home um, has many, many happy and wonderful years here like we have. Amen to that.